Texas claimed New Mexico. President Polk directed the governor of Missouri to raise an army for the conquest of New Mexico. Colonel Stephen Watts Kearney was placed in command of the army, which numbered 856 Missouri volunteers, when it set out. Colonel William Donovson was elected colonel of the regiment. Beside the Missouri volunteers, Kearney had two companies of artillery and other units bringing his total forces to 1,658. The American forces headed toward Santa Fe and trained as they went. On July 22nd, the American forces reached Bent's Fort. At that point, Kearney attempted to convince the Mexican commander, Armijo, to give up without a fight. Armijo did not give an immediate answer, finally deciding to fight. On August 16th, Armijo matched his troops to Apache Canyon. Armijo was not able to hold his forces together, and thus on the next day he withdrew. The next day, Kearney marched through the pass and on to Santa Fe, New Mexico's capital. Kearney then divided his force into three. The first group under his command headed to California to capture it. The second group would garrison Santa Fe, and the third, under Donovson, would put down local Indians and then head south into Mexico. Donovson quickly signed treaties with local Indians, then headed south at the end of November. In January, there was an uprising against the American forces, but it was decisively put down by Colonel Sterling Price in a series of battles that culminated at Taos. Donovson then headed south. His force headed south along the Rio Grande through the heat. When they reached El Paso, a force of Mexicans were waiting for them under the command of Captain Ponce de Leon. Leon demanded that Donovson surrender or his forces would charge and annihilate the American force. Donovson answered, Charge and be damned. The Mexicans charged. One hundred Mexicans were killed and seven of Donovson's men were wounded. Donovson's next step was Chihuahua City. There, a large Mexican force awaited them. 1,200 cavalry, 1,500 infantry, and 1,000 ranchers who were commanded by Brigadier General Jose Antonio de Heredia. Donovson viewed the Mexican defenses and decided circle the defenses and try to attack from the rear. The Mexicans thought that the Americans were going to bypass the city and they decided to attack the American forces. The Americans answered with artillery fire and a duel resulted. The American's shot was much more accurate and the Mexican fire died down. The American forces then attacked the Mexican fortification. 300 Mexicans were killed and another 300 were wounded against American losses of one killed and five wounded. The balance of the Mexican forces fled 